evaluation. This is just a, a short explanation introduction about um, how we interact with the computer in the repo, how, how we uh, deal with closure, what sort of conversation is going on there. So we can un understand this as like uh, question and answer. So it's like if I tell um, closure 42 and I ask it to evaluate, it's a shift enter it says 42 so it's like asking so what's the meaning of 42 and it's the answer is just ah this is just the number 42 there is no um, indirection in the meaning the meaning is is already there so this is actually what's called a, a data literal okay so it's literally just data you can just write it and of course there are some other examples um, Here is a string, and that's just another data literal. It's just itself, or you might say it evaluates to itself. Or it's like, yeah, as, what's the leading question? So what is the meaning of the expression? Okay, so you can basically imagine the computer is just, while well, you write some expression in the computer, it just figures out the meaning. Okay, well, the meaning will be a value. It's a piece of information. And that's what you do. And uh, in these examples, these are just, just the data items. Okay. And of course, you can ask the computer to do some work. Okay, this is the increment function. And um, well, we use this list notation. This opening parent means that, ah, okay. So in order to get to the meaning of this expression, probably we need to do some work. And it's like, what is the work? Well, we have to increment. Increment what? Here's the number 41. And if I evaluate it, that's 42. So now this is quite important that um, the number 42 and the incrementing 41 is exactly the same. Okay, well, that's a very strong abstraction because in one case, the, the, data is, uh, the data item is already there. In the other case, I have to do some work. But, okay, as conceptually, we abstract away the actual computational work and we identify the expression with its, um, its end result after the evaluation. So, sure, I mean, it's like if the computation is long, uh, then you cannot say that these are equivalent. But as a first... Um, step, you might say that, well, yeah, 42 is the same as incrementing 41. It's just a different way of writing it. And um, as we know that we can uh, nest function calls, and this is um, in order to figure out the meaning of this one, then, um, well, you know, it's like um, you can check how uh, Clojure starts to um, interpret this. And it's like opening parent, oh, I have to do some work. What is the work? Well, I have to increment the number. What is the number? Okay, I don't have the number directly, so there is no data literal here. I have to do some work in order to, um, to get to the number. And it's like, oh, what's the work? Well, I have to increment. Increment what? Oh, now I have a data literal. The meaning is clear. It's just um, 40. So I, if you evaluate that, so that thing, incrementing 41, uh, incrementing 40, is just uh, 41. So of course, this gives 42. So these last two, you might think of it as um, equivalent. It's like, well, the second one involves more work, but as long as you just look at the value, um, then it's the same. Of course, this property is only true in, in purely functional languages. That means that the functions only produce values and they don't do anything else. But luckily, in the, in the core closure, that's, um, that's true. So... Uh, 
you can have this equivalence of meaning. So evaluation is just figuring out the meaning of the expression. Sometimes it's direct, sometimes it's indirect because you have to do some work, but it's the same idea. Evaluation produces a value and that's the meaning of the expression.